Hey guys, I know this is long overdue, but it's time for a review of Lightning Bolt, the 10th studio album by rock band Pearl Jam, produced once again by Brendan O'Brien, a longtime collaborator with this band. And with Pearl Jam, I've never considered myself a huge fan. I'm not someone who has listened to every album, every B-side, that sort of thing. My favorite albums I have heard from the band, their classic album 10, then I enjoyed their self-titled album in 2006, I listened to Backspacer in 09, and that one for me, it was a little bit of a mixed bag because it was all over the place. I feel like this new album, Lightning Bolt, sees things in a more coordinated effort, if you will. The whole band working together on these songs, they work together like, Ed. it wasn't just like Eddie Vedder, you know, the leader of this band, putting everything together. There was the whole band coming together and doing this album. I know this album was released back in October, but I'm kind of glad with this one that I gave it some time to sink in and to, for me to give repeated listens over the course of several different weeks because this is one that, you know, if you just hear it one time, you might think that, hey, this is kind of a dull and boring album. You really have to just take these songs, take the lyrics, and, you know, kind of give an analysis of each song in your own mind and think about what it actually means, what's being said here, the notes being played. Yes, some of these guitar riffs are not that creative, that sort of thing, the drum patterns, it feels a little bit stale 90s at times like Pearl Jam hasn't changed up their style that much, but then you'll hear a song like Infallible, that one right there, one of my favorites on this record. I love the timing of the guitar hits and the guitar patterns on that song. The chorus is really solid and everything about that one just seems to work. You take like something like Infallible, then you've got the ballad type sirens that sees Eddie Vedder just kind of reflecting on life and death best song on the album in my opinion because it's just so powerful it sees him just saying basically you know all things are going to change like let this thing let this one moment remain the same it's about being afraid of death but at the same time not being afraid because you know that you know like while you're here in this life you're making the best of it just go out and make the best of it each day remember the things you love keep them the closest Sirens is a very, very powerful song. I love the guitar solo on that one especially as well. And it really doesn't even feel like a five and a half minute track. It really just goes down very smooth. Like I said, there are spots on this record that do, you know, lack some creativity in my opinion. Swallowed Whole, Let the Records Play. That one right there is just one that really, with repeated listens, starts to just get worse and worse for me personally and makes me just kind of want to move away from it. Let the record play, especially the chorus, it just it completely turns me off to the rest of the song. I like the reflection that Eddie Vedder finds himself doing on songs like Future Days and even Yellow Moon. Sleeping by Myself, those three right there close out this record and I feel like they go pretty good hand in hand, but they're not quite as solid as some of the tracks on this record. Mind Your Manners was the first track released. And I was like, when I heard that, I was like, holy shit, that was really powerful. Pearl Jam actually still have a, some angst and energy in them. And that was really refreshing to hear. I really do dig that track, and it's one of my favorites. It sees them take on more of a punk rock style, and it really pushes things to, to a whole new level. And through the roof, really, with the uh, energy level that they've captured here on this track, the momentum does not continue throughout this record, sadly. I would have liked to have seen a few more punchier songs like that, but that's not to say that they don't get a jab in here and there. I really like the slower pacing, almost the dark feel that the track Pendulum brings. That one is just another example of them mixing things up. It's still keeping a very classic Pearl Jam style at the same time. And then you've got the title track, Lightning Bolt, which is definitely another one of my overall favorites here on Lightning Bolt. The title track, Lightning Bolt, definitely reminds me of their 2006 self-titled record, just the way it's presented musically and even the way Eddie Vedder approaches this song vocally. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. It actually, like I said, is one of my favorites on this album. Getaway is the opening track on this record, and that one right there just sounds like something straight out of the 90s almost, with a little bit, a little bit of updated style, but really it's just a nice throwback. That, it's, not, it's not exactly like I would say recycled material, but it's something that takes you back 
in a nostalgic and good kind of way. I don't think there's a huge replay factor to a lot of tracks on this record, but there definitely are songs that I find myself revisiting and wanting to come back to. So I would say moderate replay factor, and it's just, it's not incredibly, incredibly original, but they are bringing some fresh things to the table still after 20 years as a band, and that's really cool to see. It's a 3.5 out of 5 for Lightning Bolt by Pearl Jam for me. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below if you can figure it out. The whole new comments section is just really bugging me and bothering me because I can't reply to things very easily and it's really confusing and the whole thumbs up and thumbs down thing doesn't always work. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and of course subscribe. Share the video with a friend. Check out my Twitter, Facebook, vlog in the description down below and I will see you guys very soon. Let me know what I should review next. And as always, Album Review TV, Beyond the Reviews.